Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this video, I will demonstrate my next circuit, which is a PC hard disk drive IDE indicator. The purpose of this circuit is to replace the boring hard disk drive operation LED with something more interesting and fancy. This LED is normally connected to the system panel connector of the motherboard and flashes whenever one SATA drive is accessed. The heart of the circuit is a PIC 16 lf 1939 with supply voltage of 3.3 volts taken directly from the orange wire of the PC power supply. Should you wish to supply the circuit with 5 volts, use better the 16F 1939 which has a wider operating voltage range. I use an optocoupler to couple the motherboard LED output to the peak. This optocoupler is the H11AA1, which has a bidirectional LED input. Therefore, the polarity which the drive LED is connected to is completely irrelevant. The output of this chip is an NPN transistor which I connect as an open collector to sync the RB0 port of the peak. This port has an internal weak pull-up resistor so I don't need to add any external resistor at all. As the LED pulses it triggers the asynchronous edge trigger RB0 int interrupt of the peak and the interrupt routine sets a flag to spin the spin indicator. This interrupt routine is very small and fast thanks to the automatic context saving of the new peak microcontrollers. Therefore, the chip is free to run the 12-channel software PWM routine for the 12 LEDs of the spin indicator. For smoother results, I use the internal PLL circuit to increase the internal oscillator clock up to 32 MHz. Along with a short assembly listing, the software PWM runs easily at 1.1 kHz frequency for the 12 individual channels simultaneously with 255 duty cycle steps. This frequency is ideal for controlling LEDs and with the 255 steps the fade out effect is very smooth. A number of parameters exist in the software to determine the length of the spin indicator's tail, the speed of the rotation and some other characteristics to achieve the desired effect. To test the spin indicator at maximum speed all you have to do is to ground the RB0 input of the peak. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting circuits.